Sometimes I sit and wonder where my little life went wrong. These old jailhouse blues have got me singing this here song. Jill with Rock House K9. We're going to be going over the core harness today from Ray Allen. So it's got a breast pad in the front, which is going to be nice for your dog. It's comfortable. It's cushy. I like it. It's got some nice Velcro on the front too that you can put a nice little bed. Nice and roomy. This is about a three and a half inch. This is probably a four inch by four inch Velcro area. So nice room for a bachelor. It's got a handle for control here. So right there. Um, you could definitely use this for agitation work, which is good stuff. Nice little buckle back here, or a V-ring, sorry, Ramco V-ring. And it's got Molly, um, Molly attachment up here for a strobe light. That's what that's for. This is really well put together. It's sturdy. This is going to hold up, I would think, definitely for the life of your dog. Um, Velcro on the body so you can patch your dog out. Do not pet in training, service dog, whatever your patches say. It's going to have plenty of room for all of them. And it's got this load rated Cobra buckle on the side here that's going to come around your dog's body and buckle right there. So just demonstrate that. Just to show you guys how easy it is to adjust this front here, we're just going to unvelcro. If you want to make it larger, I just push in from the one side here, just let it get the root there, and you're just going to pull it from that side, velcro it back. Okay, so you can do that same process to both sides to tighten it. Obviously, unvelcro, just do the opposite of what we just did, slide it back the other way, and then pull it down from that edge, and velcro it back. So it is super easy. Um, I found that sometimes with these. Not this one, but this style of buckle. It can be difficult sometimes to move, but this one is not. This one's super, I've put this on my dog several times. It goes on and off really easily. I don't have to fuss with anything. Once you get it adjusted to your dog's size, it's super efficient. The size will go from 26 to 32 inches in girth. Bottom side, you simply tighten it for your dog. Just pull it in and Sometimes you just have to go. So my suggestion is to get it, figure it on your dog, see where you, how much you're gonna need to pull it, and then take it off and um, do it separately because it's a lot easier to do it when it's not on anything. That way your dog doesn't get impatient with you too and get a bad mindset about the harness. So if you just kind of eyeball it, check it, pull it back off to make your small adjustments, and then then it's good forever. That don't let your dog get fat. We'll get another video later of what it looks like on the dog, but that's just the quick specs on it. Thanks for watching, you guys.